Oh. What's up, gang? It's your host, Bandit, here again. And today we're taking a look. We're doing a un very professional and shitty review on this Naked Ultimate Ghostface figure. Just want to say a quick heads up, or not heads up, but thank you guys for whoever watched the first video. I know it means a lot to me, you know, even if you guys just watch it, even there's no comments or anything, the people who just watched it, appreciate you guys. But uh, I don't know why I'm still here, I don't know how I'm still alive, but the fact is, I'm going to review another figure for you today. So, second review, let's do this. So, we're taking a look at the NECA Ultimate, I guess, Ghostface figure. Not Scream, just Ghostface, because I guess NECA couldn't get the license. Uh, a little backstory. I love this franchise. I love every single one of the movies. Yes, including three. I know people really hate on Scream 3, but I love it. I still love that one, and I can't wait for this new one to come out uh, in January. Hyped as hell for this movie. And yeah, Ghostface is definitely one of those staple and Halloween characters. I know Michael Myers is associated with Halloween because it's in the fucking name Halloween. But I think Ghostface definitely takes the cake as, you know, most recognizable, you know, Halloween character out there. With that said, this has got to be one of the most disappointing figures I think I've ever owned, probably next to, well, I got to say this is more disappointing than the Hot Toys core scale Joker that I have, but I'll get, I'll get into that one later. Uh, open this figure up, I show all of his accessories and whatnot, it comes with a lot of accessories, which is pretty cool. And uh, the box, well, for starters, the box is really nice. You look at the sides, you got pictures of Ghostface. In the back, he's got all the different, you know, masks that he has. He's got the bloodied one, even though it doesn't look that good. It's a lot more bloody in person, which is cool. And you got his glow in the dark one. You got his zombie one. And then you got his just a standard, you know, Ku Klux Klan member, all white one, which is pretty cool. And of course, I'm going to open this shit up again. Cause I, even though I already showed you, because I'm a fucking idiot uh this picture right here is really cool but at the same time i think it's a little misleading because i wish the figure in person looked as good as that uh with that said well let's just stop bitching about it i'll just i guess i'll just show you the figure Ugh. all right let me get that boom <laughs> sorry i don't know why i did that i thought i was trying to be funny but it's stupid anyway so here's the figure uh it's kind of tiny honestly now that I have, granted, I have gloves on, but he's kind of a little on the short side. Uh, but here he is, uh, Ghostface and all his little neck of glory. Uh, really, it's not as, okay, I'm going to keep it brief with you. I'm going to keep it real with you, Chief. Uh, this figure is great, but at the same time, this figure is not too great. Uh, I mean, he's got, you can do all sorts of stuff with him. He's pretty cool. He's pretty neat. I like articulation of the head is pretty good you can make them look up and down pretty good look down that way look side to side well yeah it's probably good i'm kind of actually holding the figure right now because this guy can't stand for shit man like oh now you want to stand as soon as i got the camera out okay great now he wants to fucking stand all right cool anyway uh the figure looks the figure's okay. The, for a figure, for a NECA figure, it's great. But he just doesn't look appealing to me. Like, for starters, the hoodie. Like, just the way it just doesn't... It never sits right. And the reason why I call him a KKK member, because he kind of looks like he's got that that giant... Like, look at that. Or maybe it doesn't look that bad now that I have it on camera. Oh, my God. I mean, I just got this figure yesterday. But, like, look at that. I mean, I can't be the only one. Like, it just looks too boxy. Like, it doesn't... I don't know. Well, let me just stop bitching about it. Let me just get all of his accessories out, and I'll just show you what he comes with. I'll keep it brief, and then I'll go more in-depth in the figure itself. Oh, no, his head. Okay, so here's all the accessories and all the shit that he comes with. And I gotta admit, he does come with a lot. I kind of had to take my gloves off for this one, so I can kind of... Because it's kind of hard to show you all the small little itty-bitty stuff that he comes with with giant fucking gloves on so anyway so first off let's start with the scythe oh shit this is pretty badass um i'm kind of at first when i first got this i definitely wanted him to be posed with this especially with the zombie mask uh 
you can't really hold it that well if i'm completely honest maybe because of my figure but the hands they always come off really easily so it's kind of really hard to make them hold it hopefully i can get some pictures with them later holding it but uh the detail on it is pretty good you can see where all the dry brushing to make it look or the i guess the attempt of making it look rusty with just the blue the blue paint uh but other than that like it, it looks really good like the uh, the i don't know if this is actual wood let me see if i can get closer Fucking shitty camera there you go yeah you can see all the detail and whatnot let me hold it. show you what i'm talking about um just all the paint right here just looks great like the like if you can hear that like it feels like it's made out of wood but i don't know if it's plastic or it's just a sculpted to look like wood but whatever it is it's pretty good so uh yeah this this thing's pretty badass and if you have even other horror characters even like uh, a jason definitely would want to pose him with this too so pretty cool accessory so size I give it 10 out of 10 for that great job Becca. you have succeeded good job give yourself a pat on the back uh he comes with three knives now this is weird because we all know ghostface has the classic butcher knife he always uses it it's through all the movies the he doesn't come the closest thing he has to that is definitely this this one right here and it's pretty cool this is the honestly the closest out of all three of the knives this is the closest one that resembles to what he uses in the movie uh granted it, it never had the wood stock and i don't remember if it had any of these things right here but in terms of like the length of the blade and everything it looks pretty damn accurate and uh yeah you can see where all the blood looks good the blood looks really good actually at first i was when i saw this i was like eh, it doesn't look that good but actually let's see if i can zoom in just a little bit no guess not cool thanks camera fucking fucking everything up but yeah you can see all the shininess so uh, of the of the the paint looks really good good job nigga now here is the other knife this is i guess the michael meyer style kitchen knife uh this actually the paint on this actually looks really good especially this side it actually looks like he literally just fucking stabs one and just the the blood just kind of just smearing off the the metal it's actually pretty fucking sharp out it's actually pretty sharp so be careful with this if you have small children you buy them horror figures first of all if you're an excellent parent if you do that buy your kids hor horror figures i don't know why i stuttered right there but yeah anyway pretty cool uh definitely i honestly but i'd rather have him pose with this because just how real the blood looks on it uh, not too bad Nika. not bad at all for a mass-produced figure this is probably my least favorite one out of the one out of all three of these ones because this i guess this is supposed to resemble the actual blade he uses but the the blade itself is too damn stubby it's like my dick size like it's too small and just like the, the i mean the the handle is pretty accurate but the actual blade like the blood the blood looks good that's which is pretty good it actually looks really good the paint on all three of these knives are fantastic honestly it's just this one this one's probably the least one I'm, i'll never actually have them used if they switch the the blade i guess from this one and went on to this body i guess uh the blade would have been it would have looked accurate but anyway i don't think this is based off the movies because uh ghost face the character i guess i guess NECA has the rights to the character of ghost face in terms of them making the figure but they don't have the rights to the movies and i think that's another reason why he doesn't come with the phone or an accurate blade that's just my guess i don't know and here he is comes with this little voice changer thing uh pretty cool and he holds he actually holds this pretty well actually not gonna lie and you can see all the detail see see if i can get get closer i guess can i get closer i guess fucking not i'll try i'll try my best let me see do you want to focus no let me see let me try this way oh hey oh almost dropped the fucking camera so can i get it there it is oh man my nails are looking disgusting uh, hold on let me uh technical difficulties okay cool there you go now that's much better now it doesn't want to focus again because it's being a fucking slut. Oh boy. Okay, well, this is going great. Well, as planned. <laughs> this is what I mean when I mean unprofessional. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty gosh darn accurate. Uh, it looks weird. But anyway, I guess that's just how it's supposed to look. I don't know if it looked like that in the movies. Probably. Probably did. Probably not. I don't know. And he also comes with 
two pairs of hands, an extra pair of hands. These are just obviously to hold the scythes, or the scythe, I should say. And uh, I mean, these hands itself hold it pretty well, but I'll show you what I mean when you can't really, the hands pop off too easily. Now, last but certainly not least is his masks. Uh, he comes with, obviously, he come. Hey, did I really just say that twice? Obviously, he comes with, he comes with. I'm fucking stupid. Anywho, so you get just the normal white mask, but with just blood on, just on it, smeared on it. Looks pretty cool. I guess this is kind of like from Scream 4, if you guys seen that film. Uh, obviously, he kills someone, gets blood on his face. Enough said. That one looks pretty cool. I like how this one looks. Now he comes with this glow with the dark one, which I've tried it last night, and I don't think... Can you tell? Can you see it? No, you can't tell. I'll probably try it a little bit later, but... It looks good. I mean, they, they look all the same, sculpted-wise. They, they definitely look the same. I see no difference. Uh, this one, honestly, besides the white one, the white mask, this definitely has to be my favorite, which is the zombie mask. Looks pretty badass. The sculpting and the paint looks phenomenal. This is definitely giving me vibes of the Michael's mask in the new Halloween films. I always love when, you know, characters have, like, weathered masks like this. Like, it just, it just looks fucking dope and it just adds to the character. Yeah, so with that said, most likely my ghost face is going to be posed with that. Or maybe I might just get another one and have him kind of like an undead ghost face with the scythe. Because that's obviously what he's supposed to come with. Or that the mask is supposed to complement the scythe, I guess. I don't fucking know. Anyway, let's go back to the... Okay, so here's Mr. Ghost Face. Um, now, my biggest beef I have with this figure is just... If you just have him like this, he looks fine. You know, the hoodie, is, it's got its problems, but you know, that's how he looks like without it. He kind of looks actually... Actually, doesn't look too bad without the hoodie on, but... So you put the hoodie back on like that pretty easily, pretty self-explanatory. And just maybe because of mine, it just doesn't, the, the stitching doesn't sit right. Because you expect it to be in the, like, center. But it just, um, maybe on just mine, it just doesn't sit right. Like, it just looks, that's what it kind of looks like. It just looks weird. Like, he generally looks like a fucking clansman. <laughs> like a wizard. Um, the mask itself is sculpted really nice. The, the detailing on it. He looks fabulous. You know, they finally got the mask right. I know NECA's done a few Ghostface figures in the past, and but for some reason, they just never gotten just the mask right. Something I think it's always with the eyes right here that they never got it right. It's always too small. Uh, but this one, they got the mask right. Good job. That's all they got right. Because the proportions on this guy, maybe because of the cloth or something, but he just doesn't look proportionized. Proportionalized? I don't fucking know. But he just doesn't he just looks weird to me because maybe or the arms are too stubby some, something about it he i don't know what's up with companies not getting ghost face right i know sideshows isn't perfect either like that thing looks like a fucking twig in his costume this one like maybe some something about it to me just doesn't like his his skirt just stops like right there and i know in the movies it's supposed to go at least like down down here and i but then again, this is not supposed to be 100% accurate to how he looks in the movies. Because why? I don't know. I don't know. But in terms of a figure, it's not really that bad. Like he can move really good. The double jointed arms move all the way back like that. Well, not all the way back because you don't want to ruin the, the costume. But you can move his arms all the way up like that. So you can have him be a holy jesus like that basking in the sun or maybe getting head from cindy i don't fucking know sydney cindy i don't know uh if you lift up his skirt like he's kind of skinny right like come on i know the majority of the, the killer is based off like high school students killing each other but like god damn dude get some fucking meat on your bones like holy shit or maybe it could be a girl i don't know i don't know that's what's fantastic about Ghostface. He could be anybody. But, yeah, even the shoes. Everything's sculpted nice to the pants and to the to his, like, fucking boots. I actually do want to get boots like these because those look pretty fucking badass. But, yeah, like, I, I mean, in terms of a figure, he doesn't look bad. He's not really a bad figure. It's just, like, the way he kind of looks to me just doesn't sit right. So, if you want, 
I think I'm holding a knife. I'm gonna get him holding the kitchen knife so I can show you guys. Now I've been having problems with this guy because maybe his hands are super stiff and and that see that's what I mean. His hands. This is another big issue I have, and I think the, hopefully this is just with mine. His hands come off way too fucking easy. But it's okay if it gets the. Yeah, see that? That looks that looks fucking good. So get this back in his hand. So you can have him like that. And he doesn't look that bad. If you just have him on the shelf like this. In a shelf with all your other horror characters. He looks pretty good. So I'll have him hold that. And then if you want on this other hand. Obviously he has his jester. Like he's like hey, come here. Come here let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Like he's about to tell you a horrible joke. That you know it's going to be offensive. But you like you still want to hear him say it. So he's like come here. Come here. He's like. <laughs> oh my lord okay that's not gonna edit out but anyway so the hands used for him obviously to hold his little his thing his little voice box changer recorder thingy oh my god come on i said you were supposed to hold on tight you're making me look fucking bad so you kind of hold it like that i think it's supposed to go in a little deeper in his hands but i think that looks good so you can have him hold it like that and he holds it pretty good like Yeah, pretty good. Good job, Neko. So that sculpted really nice. So, I mean, yeah, everything's pretty solid about it, just except his proportions. But I'll show you how you take off the head. So you just unplug it like that, and you see that little giant butt plug on him. I'll put the zombie mask on because I really want him to be with the zombie mask on. It does take a little bit of elbow grease to get it in, but once you hear that little pop, put it back on. And then just lift this back up, and boom. That looks badass. I gotta. I know I joke a lot, but that, I gotta admit, that looks pretty fucking dope. It's just the fucking hood ruins it. Like, the, just the way it's off-centered. I think it's too thick. Like, the sides right here. I think if they just made it a little bit thinner, I think it would have been better. But anyway, so yeah, that's him with the zombie mask. I guess I might as well just show you how he looks with all of them. Because I'm not gonna be that fucking prick. Oh my god. Quickly. Before the audience gets bored. So here he is with the glow in the dark one. Okay, I guess a Martian. That doesn't look too bad. Looks like the Hulk. If Ghostface turns into the Hulk, that'd be a scary sight, wouldn't it? And last but not least, his. Yeah. Oh my god. His bloody one. What the hell was that? Ew. It's like a piece of thread of his costume just starts flowing around. This looks pretty good, especially with the knife. You just have him pose like that. Ah, oh, man. He look, in some ways, he looks good, but in some ways, he doesn't look good. Just that fucking hood is just, like I said, a ruin it. You can't put it all the way back because you see that little giant thing. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, actually, that, yeah, I think I got it to work. All right, cool. I think I kind of fixed it. Anyway, so that's how he looks. I guess I'll show you real quick how he looks with the scythe i'm gonna just take this off camera because i know this thing's gonna be a bitch to put together with the scythe so i'll be right back all right so maybe i zoomed out just a little bit so you can see his full dick out big dick energy with the scythe and uh yeah dude this thing he looks pretty badass i know i'm not i know he's not holding it right because uh let me zoom in a little bit i know this hand's supposed to be holding it kind of like that but i swear to god maybe i'm stupid I think I'm maybe because I am stupid, but I can't really seem to hold it without having one of his hands just pop off like super fucking. Oh, now they don't want to pop off. As soon as I get it on camera, everything works fine. Oh, uh, God help me. But anyway, yeah, he looks pretty fucking dope with the scythe. So it kind of makes me want to get another one so I could just have a standard ghost face and then just one as the zombie. Maybe just dirty him up a little bit. That'd be a fucking fun sight, wouldn't it? Yeah, his figure, his figure is pretty badass. So, I mean, if you're a huge Ghostface fan, I say definitely would get it. Hopefully, I don't know. Well, let me do a little size comparison before I give you my fucking stupid final thoughts. So I'll be right back again. Alright, so finally let's do our little stupid size comparison that we always do. So for starters, here's Ghostface next to Jason. 
probably my favorite looking Jason of all the movies. Uh, and he looks pretty good right next to him. Yeah, so hopefully if you guys are really good and you're a little naughty, I'll give you a little taste of this guy too as well. So, all right, next size comparison. All right, next size comparison. This one's going to be a little obscure, but it's the only thing closest I have to Ghostface and horror, but that's McFarlane's Noob Cybot. Right there, pretty badass figure, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah, they look pretty good together, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's really the point of size comparisons, but everybody else is doing it, so might as well I, I do it too. So, uh, yeah, new spy about Ghostface. We're pretty fucking good together, not gonna lie. Alright, next one. Next size comparison, here's Ghostface next to my cock. Uh, Mr. Cock looks pretty good next to Ghostface, except Mr. Cock doesn't want to stand, but that's okay. Because he's been through a lot of hell. So, yeah, Mr. Cock, Ghostface, yeah, looks pretty good together. Last one. Ah! Oh, last but certainly not mm. least, you love him or you hate him, depending on who you worship. Here's Ghostface next to uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, Ghostface looks pretty good next to Jesus. I, I can't get over black and gold, man. That that looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, so Ghostface, Jesus. All right. All right, so other than the fact that he can't stand for shit, uh, this figure, not really that bad. It's just my pet peeve is that he just doesn't look proportioned. Like, like his arms look stubby. But other than that, like, even the profile right here, he kind of looks pretty badass. So, with all that said, with all the little nitpicks I do have with it, he's not really a terrible figure. He's actually pretty good. Other than the fact that his hands come off pretty easily and he can't really stand for shit. And you can probably fix that with the base. I know NECA sells their own little mini stands for these guys, but... Honestly, this guy's not really that bad, and I'm kind of happy with my purchase. You know, I didn't. I usually have that tendency to buy something and then instantly regret it. But after getting this guy and kind of messing with it, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I kind of did regret regret it for a little bit because he just doesn't look. He didn't look that good when I got him out of the box. But kind of just messing with him a little bit, it's actually pretty nice. So if you're a big Ghostface fan like me, I definitely say get it before who knows time will take its toll and then this guy will be hard to find and he'll become rare which i don't think he will be but who knows you never see never and uh hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, take this hand out. yeah dude this figure is pretty fucking dope dude so if you see honestly this is one of those figures where it's it's pretty good to have in your collection but i wouldn't go out of your way to like make it a mission to buy them if i say if you see them in the store just you just so happen to walk into target and see them in there and i honestly that's for the time where i'll buy it but if i see them online i would probably be like i'll pass them but if i see them in person i'd be like you know what fuck it why not that's what i kind of did today so yeah there's my review on Ghostface. uh appreciate you guys sticking around and uh hopefully this video wasn't as long as the first one and if it was i'm truly sorry i'm definitely gonna make my mission make that my mission to uh short and all that shit for you guys but uh i appreciate you guys sticking around and hopefully uh i'll see you guys next time peace bitches